My name is Tony Anderson. I'm a senior resource analyst here at Silicon. Ecosystem services are the benefits that nature provides to people. So these can be anything from the provision of water quality and food production, things that we need to survive, or recreational benefits and aesthetic views, things that we just get pleasure from. Foresters are directly tied to the landscape. We manage the forest in a way that it will continue to be there for future generations, which is inherently an ecosystem service. As foresters, we try to manage the forest in a way that can benefit people in multiple ways. So we're providing recreational benefits, we provide camping sites, we also provide habitat for wildlife. We're managing the landscape for a whole number of goods and services, not just the timber supply. There's a whole side of ecosystem services which values the benefits that people receive from nature. So you can place a dollar value on water quality improvements because it's reducing the amount of treatment time that's required at a treatment facility. I don't necessarily believe that all ecosystem services should have a dollar value placed on it. It's more important to just be aware that those benefits exist and that we need to manage for them as much as possible. Alberta is unique in that we have tons of data out there and we have wall-to-wall -wall coverage for a, a lot of data sets. So Alberta is really leveraging that unique resource and building capacity within, within the province so that we can improve our knowledge on ecosystem services and manage for them a little bit better. As the population expands, we're going to see more pressure on our natural resources. By being aware that the forest provides multiple benefits, we're able to manage the system in a way that can continue to provide those services into the future.